Hello everyone. It's been a long time that I have posted anything on this channel. So in this video, I will discuss my interview experience of Texas Instruments. So let's get started. So in the beginning of the interview, they asked me an RC question where they applied in uh, they applied a step voltage response to an RC circuit and they told me to calculate the uh, current and voltage and they also told me to calculate the voltage of capacitor as well as the voltage of resistor and uh, after that they also asked me to uh, tell the pole intuitively uh, first of all I say like I told them R equivalent into, uh, 1 by R equivalent and C equivalent and, but they told me to solve it by intuitive like they asked me uh, why are you taking this so I gave them I gave them the reasons so in this video I will just explain the questions and in upcoming video I will solve them because this video will be so long if I just explain each questions so in this video I will just go through the questions one by one so after that they told me to just replace the voltage source by the current source of one ampere impulse and sorry one ampere one ampere step and they told me to uh, they told me to uh, draw a response of current 10 v naught same as the previous question uh, they told me to draw uh, the voltage of resistor as well as the voltage of capacitor so going to the next question they added the parallel capacitor over the resistor and the input is same as before um, they asked the same thing they asked to plot voltage they asked me to plot the current in each branches and uh, uh, they like whenever i was answering them they were like don't directly tell the answer tell what is your procedure how you how are you reaching uh, to the answer so they were not inst interested in the answers they were just interested in the process how is your process of solving yes so then uh, they removed the previous parallel capacitor mm, they told me to connect the capacitor in the uh, parallel of the current source and then they told me to calculate all those things and uh, they told me to plot the slope of the currents slope of the voltages and here they were just checking that if i am confident or not uh, they asked me the same question twice or thrice and just check the confidence so the next question is uh, now they started with an ideal op amp as a black box and uh, uh, they connected an inverter they connected an amplifier like op amp and connected the negative analog buffer it is a negative analog bu buffer and then it has connected like this so they asked for a system to be in the negative feedback what should be the polarity of a and b okay and same same as the previous questions i told them the answer but they will like go through the process and tell me how you got to that answer so the sixth question was this now they connected this structure this is the step voltage response step voltage input and they told me the what will be the output so i told them one by one and then they were like reverse the polarity do it do this plus and this minus and now tell me what will be the output so all the answers will be uh, discussed in the upcoming lectures so, so uh, in this i will just explain the questions so next they they were like uh, they were happy with the previous questions so they connected the capacitor in the parallel like this and they told the vdd as 5 volts dss as minus 5 volts and then they told me to plot the v out so v out was good 
but then they told me to plot the v v minus okay so this was something different for me so they gave some inputs and then i reached to the answer after that uh okay so this was the voltage input uh step voltage input and then they gave me the step current input and then the same thing they asked me they asked me to plot v out and inverting voltage so this interview lasted around one and a half hour like one hour 40 minutes so there were many questions so next they asked me to calculate the input resistance and output resistance uh, assuming all the parameters of op amp is ideal okay so here i calculated then they just changed the circuit they were like uh, they inserted a, a series resistance and then they told me to calculate the rod so here i was a bit confused i i got a bit confused but still they gave some input and then i uh, i answered them in all the questions one thing was similar they were like don't directly tell me the answer they were like tell the process even though my answers were were a bit off they were helping me if my uh, way of thinking is correct okay so then they asked me to calculate it so then they asked me to connect one voltage source which is plus uh, which is dc voltage and they told me to calculate the v out first uh, they cal told me to cal calculate v out and then they added this positive like the 2 ampere current source and then they told me what will be the change in v out so this question was divided into two into two part first they asked this much only and then they have connected the current source and then they told me to calculate current and voltage not plot this was just okay yeah so in the next question they they were like this this capacitor is previously charged with plus 2 volt and now we have the step voltage of this 4 volts now what will be the v out so this was the easy question and then as they were satisfied to to the previous question then they shifted to this this question so they first they just gave this and told me what will be the what will be the output and this this was missing so i told what will be this so they told me what you expect to be to be this so i told that this should be the non overlapping clock then then they said yes and they have drawn this and then in each cycle they told me to cal uh, plot the v out and assuming all the switches are ideal that means the resistance of the switch is zero so please assume this then they have changed the circuit so previously here was the switch and this was a ground and this was v out so they told so they now told to ground this take the v out from this and uh, now this switch was connected here and the clock input was the same and same assume the switch as ideal okay so now they told me first they asked me that am i familiar with lc circuits so i was like yes sir i am familiar then they just gave me the short parallel lc circuit and told me to plot l and c voltages sorry currents and voltage and then they told me why you are getting a sinusoidal voltage and why this inductor is getting uh, twice of input voltage so i will discuss all the 
all the answers so don't worry so up till this so up till now the interview was of 1 hour no uh, 5 minutes 10 minutes so now um, they they again asked me if i am familiar if i am familiar with the mosfet circuits then they have drawn this mosfet this differential amplifier 5t op amp and 5t ot then they told me everything is properly biased so that the transistor is in saturation region and uh, they asked me first they have asked me what will be the current in this two branches then they were like okay then they told me what will be the voltage of vs and uh, this is grounded this grounded means the small signal voltage is, is grounded and like small signal this is like this we have biasing here but we have a small signal voltage here and biasing it so you can assume like this okay yes so they told me this then they told me to calculate the calculate the vs and then afterward uh when i told them this then they were like okay but why you think so then they told me to then they told me to apply their version of things like they gave me some inputs they told me what will be the current from here what will be the current from here mm, so 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 they were like just to, if they if they gave some inputs am i able to catch that inputs and convert that into the meaningful sentences like meaningful meaningful output okay so this this question lasted for a bit because they they were trying to give me some inputs okay and uh, and they were like just catch those those inputs and get to the meaningful uh, terms that they were telling then they told me to calculate gm1 and gm2 and and they also told me to write it down somewhere and they told me to calculate v out okay so next term and in the same question they just told me this the ratio of this two transistor this, this transistor is doubled and this transistor w wire is kept constant and the, the w wire of this is doubled so now they told uh, now from the previous uh, analysis what we what we did they they gave some input right so considering that inputs they told me to calculate vs and they also told me to calculate gm1 dash which is the present gm in terms of the previous gm so this was the previous gm this is the present this is the present gm dash so they told me to calculate the gm dash in terms of gm and gm gm2 dash in terms of g2 first they told me to calculate the calculated so first they told me to calculate the bias currents of this two transistors and then they they told me to cal calculate to calculate the gain so in this question uh, uh i was a bit nervous so like this type of questions i i haven't seen so they they gave me inputs and some uh, and so on i have solved it uh so up to this they were like okay and they have not asked me enough questions on my project but like i did my project like i am the jr of of isro so i did a sridc and current frame deck but still they have they haven't asked me any questions just um, they asked me if i if i have did the did the layout and i was like yes so they asked uh, one question also they asked me like uh, what is the difference between the analog and digital layouts why we do the analog analog layouts so i told them that we have to consider consider the mismatches and the uh, symmetry of the circuits in the analog so they were like okay so what is, what is the technique that you follow for mismatches i told we follow the common centroid method so they gave me this question uh, they gave, they told like i have 6 six, 6a six like six transistors of a so basically we have fingers or oh, sorry multipliers so six multipliers six multiplier of a six multiplier of b and make a make a common center uh so this is for this video and uh, upcoming video i will uh make the solutions i will give you all the de detailed solution of the questions 
so please subscribe this channel so that you will get the notification of the upcoming videos thank you